the media have been calling me a finished manager, washed and everything else, and they were saying I should get sacked. Oh, for God's sake. What now, huh? We're in the top half of the Premier League. We've done things around win ninth. Come on! Get in! Of course, we got to put it down to signing Ivan Tony and Shalaba as well. But that's what a good manager does. We signed the right players and we've kind of fixed things. Although the job is not over. Today, we're going to be wrapping up the first season with Nottingham. And I do not want to go down to the bottom half of the table. So we need to still keep our level up. And also, we've got an outside chance to potentially win a trophy. And by outside chance, I really mean it. We're up against Man United, FA Cup quarterfinal. Can we go on a Dream Cup run? I mean, talking about beating Manchester United, we did do it in the last episode. So if we believe, it's possible. Bro, I'm going to give it everything to try and win the FA Cup because it's it's all coming into our favor because finally the team is gelling well. We can do a madness. If you guys believe I can make Nottingham Forest the greatest club in the world, I need you all to subscribe. And it literally starts from here. If we can knock Manchester United out of the FA Cup, oh my God. I'm so nervous. What team do I go for here? I think we got to start Elanga and Brennan Johnson. Tony needs to be there. The question is Lingard or Gibbs White? I think we stick with Lingard against this former club. Yates, Chalaba, Neko Williams. I think I want the experience of Serge Aurier. So Neko is going to be on the bench. That's my team. I'm ready for this. Guys, winning the FA Cup is really a long shot. But we can at least give our 100% and maybe at least get to the semi-finals where we'll be playing at Wembley. What an experience that would be. Ronaldo looking out wide for Malakia. Catch it, bitch. Bro, Chalaba is such a beast. I told you, you sign a world-class defender, which I think Chalaba has the potential to become. And yeah, you, you, your team gets improved by so much as Lingard's got a chance. Goes for a cheeky chip. No, he's missed. Lingard. But as I was saying, the centre-back and the striker position, I think, are, are two of the most important positions in the sport. And we improve those. And I feel like our team is different. Okay, Sir Jory is not the quickest to ride backs, but he's doing a good job. Looks for the ball for Frula. He needs a bit of support. He does need it. Ivan Tony's coming with it, but tackled. Jesse Lingard. I'm sure he's dreaming of having a big moment, but it falls for Langa against this former club. You can't write this. Anthony Alanga has scored. It's Jesse Lingard with the assist. Manchester United in the mud. Alanga showing a bit of respect there, but we're leading 1 0. Bro, the dream FA Cup run is on. No, it's Ojeda. Who the hell is he? He's got a chance. Looking inside for Fred. Oh, Ronaldo is so washed, man. Honestly, on FIFA especially. Oh, and now on the counter from that chance, Brennan Johnson, just before the halftime whistle, could slot this oh. home. No, it's off the post. No. Van der Beek looking for Ronaldo. No, no, no. Good save, Dino. Oh, oh what's Aurea doing? We're so lucky. Ah. And Brennan Johnson gets taken out like that. That's a red card. Horrendous from Anthony Martial. Let's go, boys. Manchester United are crumbling. I can't lie. That is just pure frustration from Martial. Like, bro, what was he thinking? It's our job now to just seal this game. Brennan Johnson. Oh, my word. Brennan Johnson with an absolute beauty. My good God. That is one of the best goals we've scored this season. He has arrived. I know you can see it's, it's against the 10-man Man United team, but that was still from 23 yards out. What a strike. That's such a smart ball from a striker. Good hold-up play. Brennan Johnson right now opening up a bit of space. This is what he freaking does. 3-0. We're just destroying Man United now. The man advantage is too much. And that's enough for us to seal the deal and a trip to Wembley. Nottingham Forest are going to be in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Stop the cap. Wait, that was the that was the round of 16. Bro, my math is so bad. I didn't even realize there were 16 teams left. What's in the quarterfinals? We're going to be in the quarterfinals against Spurs. Ay, ay, ay. We still have a lot of drama left in this. Remember last episode we sent our scouts to various different countries well they're back with some talents if we can get some good players now and build them up for next season that'd be awesome but these guys absolutely trash do we have anyone good from uruguay like the potentials are so bad oh my god final monthly scouting report this one is from the scout we sent to greece oh oh 
The Manios Papadopoulos. Oh, let's go. But he's a goalkeeper. Why do we keep getting goalkeepers? We'll sign him up. I want players from like outfield positions, man. Ah, because like we've already got this Bravo guy. We don't need Papadopoulos. I think he's pointless because Emilio Bravo is going to be the man for us in goal. Hopefully our next month's scouting prospects are better. Back to the Premier League for a bit. The focus, I think, for the rest of the season is getting that top half finish. To do that, we need to be consistently winning games. No, I'm such an idiot. I thought I could sim and get a dub against everyone. In, but we're just not good enough though Brendan Johnson is scoring for fun but we take an L after a long time well our next game is literally in the FA Cup I think you know what the more I think about it should the Premier League be our focus over the FA Cup guys what would you focus on in our current situation the FA Cup or the Premier League as long as we don't get relegated does it matter where we finish but bro winning the FA Cup is a proper trophy that gets us into the Europa League next season I think I've made my call we're gonna give it everything in the FA Cup. The more I think about it, we've we've got a perfect team to win a cup competition. Like, to win cup competition, you just need to have a strong defense. You're able to just hold things up and just be patient. And we've got that striker, the pace up top to hit them on the break. I'm, I'm excited for this cup run. Let's see how things go. Antonio Conte Spurs, though, is gonna be a real challenge. Okay, do we go for another Lingard special? Why do I feel it might just end up working? Jesse Lingard, another outside Curler. color oh oh my god what bro bro jesse lingard is the greatest freaking taker of all time what just happened bro okay guys how on earth did jesse lingard score from here he's the most cracked player of all time outside the foot bro that was literally perfect what happened then it touched the keeper Hugo Lloris with a howler but i bet he wasn't expecting lingard to pull that off Bro, I can't believe it. This FA Cup run dream is is still on. Kane nope. going for it. It's chaos, but we're surviving. No, no, Kane. Chalaba, please. Chalaba. No, we're, we're surviving, man. We, we keep surviving. Oh, my God. Header saved. And it's done. We've knocked out Spurs from the FA Cup. Thank you. God for Jesse Lingard. All hail King Lingard. Oh my God. The greatest player I've used in FIFA 23. The greatest free kick taker, that's for sure. My man Jesse Lingard has scored two goals this season and both of them are probably going to be goal of the season contenders, bro. I'm so glad we gave him a new contract because he's the free kick machine. And the crazy thing is he can only score the outside foot shot free kick. I tried normal free kicks with him. They just don't work. Why do we get like the most difficult draws possible in the FA Cup? Just give us Preston or something, man. Honestly. But I think one thing's for sure. The Premier League, we're going to put that on the sideline as long as we don't get relegated. We're going to give it every ounce of energy that we've got to win the FA Cup. They said I was a finished manager, boys. I'm going to get Nottingham Forest a trophy. Next game's against Aston Villa. I think if we win this game, we should have 42 points and I think that's mostly enough to avoid relegation. Lord Awani has a chance to score. He's been brought on as a sub. Is he going to bottle? No, he doesn't. Yo! Awadi has actually scored! I don't know what to say. Awadi! All hail Awadi! Lord Awadi has actually scored, man. Let's go. That just shows the team is clicking when he actually ends up scoring. And that's that. Lord Awadi helps us, well, secure our spot for Premier League next season. Honestly, man, from where we were, 15th, 16th in the Premier League to now 10th, basically guaranteeing our spot in the Prem for next season, it's incredible. I'm absolutely in love with the team we've built and we just got to keep this going. We got Man City up next and I must say I am worried for this one. Now take Bernardo Silva out. No, he's just run through. Strikes it. What? I think that was going in, but the game was like, nope, it's fine. It's going wide. <laughs> we'll take it. Guys, I, I paid EA. I paid EA. That's why that, that wasn't given as a goal. I'm kidding, but Haaland's going to score this. There's, there's no stopping this. Yeah, Man City get what they deserve. Holland is just a beast. And there you go. He's going to do that celebration too. Yeah, just just, just end us out of this game, Holland. Oh. No, don't make it gay. The one time I don't stay down the middle, he goes down the middle. Okay, what are we doing here? Like, what are we actually doing? City are slapping us about. I'm glad they're not left in the FA Cup. Because Holland's going to score this. I'm going to go right. Oh, we've saved a pen from Holland. My mission in this game is to not win anymore. It's to just get a goal. If we can get a goal, I'd consider that a massive dub. But 
Bro, they're just so calm and composed, these guys. What are we supposed to do? Oh, Julian Alvarez Thank versus you. Neko Williams. That is horrendous. It's Haaland's through on goal. Easy. And there you go. Erling Haaland gets a hat-trick. This man is a machine. He even was able to, like, miss a penalty and still end up with a hat-trick. I mean, I know our team has improved, but no improvements can get us to compete with City right now. Bro, this embarrassment, when is it going to end? And it finally does. Yeah, we're just not on City's level. And I'm saying it again. I am glad they're not in the FA Cup. Meanwhile, a transfer offer for Serge Aurea from Juventus. Ooh, 30-year-old Aurea. Ah, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about this. If I can get a bit more money for him, it might be worth it. Because we've got Neko Williams. We could maybe invest in another right back and, and take the cash right now. Because we're a club that could really do with the cash. Plus, Aurea is 30. So, for next season's planning, this could be smart, but I would need to get somewhere like 14 million for Serge Aurea, but I doubt Juventus are willing. What? I didn't expect this. We're selling Serge Aurea to Juve for 14 million. Well, well, well. How did that happen? He's been good, but I genuinely prefer Neko Williams, so I'm not too fussed about it. Oh, we've got our scouting reports. Let's see if we've got any ballers. Oh, he looks good, but it's his base overall is too low. No ballers from... Oh my god! Elliot Lee, 57 to 75 overall, 85 to 94 potential. This kid's cracked 1.3 million valuation. That might be one of the best youngsters I've seen. Could it be a right back? That'd be perfect. Bro, bro, bro. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. He is a right back. Bro, the luck. Elliot Lee. We're going to make him our backup right back. I don't care. 61 rated. He's got the potential. Look at his stats. He's got 80 physical for a right back. Decent enough pace. He'd be a perfect center back right now. But the issue is he's only 5'9". So we will develop him into the ultimate right back. Just have some patience. Elliot Lee is going to be a part of the squad next season. Bro, come on. And we've still got two more scouting reports. This one's the Greek scout. Ooh. Ah. Mr. Papadopoulos again. But nah, these guys don't look good. What do we have next? What do we have next? The Uruguayan scout. Peter Finel. Ah. Who's this guy? Hennessy. I've literally never seen him in our squad. I'll just sell him. Ah, well, fine. Okay, give me that money. I don't know who he is. Bring me my money. Yeah! As much as I like Lingard, I think for the future, we need to be giving Gibbs White more of an opportunity. So for the rest of the Premier League games, I think I'm going to make Gibbs white starter. Lingard's still gonna try and lead us in the FA Cup. I think that's the smart thing to do. Go on, Frula. Driving the ball forward. That's what he's good at. Box-to-box -box midfielder. Looking for Brendan Johnson. Ivan Tony from distance. Oh. And puts it wide. No. What a ball from John Joe Shelby for Iñaki Williams. Nia Carty's doing everything nope. to get there. And teams up with Chalabowell. A lot of trust in our number 10, Gibbs White, to get it done. Finds Ivan Tony. Looking for Elanga. Opening up a bit of space for Tony here. Ah, uh, Okay, I just clocked. Newcastle have a man down. Even with the man down, it is Newcastle who's creating all the chances. And we actually drop points against them. Yo, in the Premier League, I don't know. It's like after basically securing our spot for next season in this competition, we've like just put the foot off the gas. Meanwhile, Serge Aurea's deal to Juventus has been completed. Next season, we'll be getting an additional 14 million into our budget. And also, I just sold this Harry to follow guy for like 2.3 million. More cash for our budget next season. We take those. Crazy thing is, we're, we're still dent in the Premier League right now, you know. If we just don't play like how we've been playing in the Prem lately in the, in the FA Cup, we should be fine. But you know what? I don't like losing. I want to win this game against Bournemouth, so let's get it. I see you, Elanga. Good bit of movement from him. Should be able to bring this inside. And whoa, what a save. Bro, literally nothing happened in this game. We got like a red card and it's a nil-nil. Yo, our Premier League record lately has been trash. We're still 10th in the Premier League, so it's not really affecting us. But I want to start winning games. And oh, oh, our next game is against Liverpool. We've got literally a test run against them where we can see how we need to set our team up. This is going to be interesting for sure. Okay, this is bad. Ivan Tony is suspended for this game. So I want is gonna have to be trusted which is fine because the premier league game doesn't matter we, we we don't need to win this as such it's fine uh but but, but but let's just see what we can do also as i said i want to keep playing gibbs white in the prem and also mangal has been growing well so let's play him too oh darwin nunez threw on goal redan lodi's doing everything he can but liverpool too strong we don't even have a focal point up top in this game if this is how the fa cup game goes our trophy dreams will be crushed anthony alanga though has found a bit of space He's got the pace as well. Could be a big moment. And he's put it wide. Absolute. 
crap. No, Darwin Nunes is just unreal. Like, wow, what a striker. Liverpool doing it up. We need to find a plan to contain him in that, in that FA Cup game. I see you, Awani. What a chance it is for you. He just does not nope. have the pace. Brennan Johnson, what are you doing, Awani? The movement should be a lot better. It's a lovely ball from Brennan. Wasted. Ah, we take the 2 0 to Liverpool in the Prem. We've been shocking. The build up to this FA Cup game against Liverpool has been not good at all for us. We had an incredible middle run of the Premier League that basically got us to survive it. But since then, we've just been taking else. But the good thing is, we are far and clear from the relegation zone, so it's fine. Everything about our season now rests on the FA Cup. If we can somehow knock Liverpool, we'd legit be the favourites in the final. And here are what I was thinking my team is going to be ready for this big game against Liverpool, but then you will not believe what happened. Of course, Mr. Wayne Hennessy, who I didn't even know existed, got sold. But yes, on to the more important things. Unbelievable. Anthony Alanga and Brennan Johnson both injured. <laughs> And it's not like it's a big injury. Elanga is just out for eight days. Brennan Johnson for a couple of weeks. It's like just small injuries. But that's going to put two of our most important players out of this FA Cup game against Liverpool. I, I think our chances to go through have reduced by like 80-90%. The worst thing is, who do I even replace them with? Vega is great to play left wing. Let's also put Tony back into the team. But who's going to play instead of Brennan Johnson? And then it hit me in the youth academy. We do have a winger. It's too early though. Are we really going to do this? Sam Arnold? Are we really just going to put him in the deep end? In the in, in the FA Cup semi-finals? We don't have a choice right now. He's literally the only player that can play in that position. I'm promoting him to the senior team. That tastes like promotion! Yeah! Welcome Sam Arnold. Out of nowhere, you're going to get the chance to play in an FA Cup semi-finals at Wembley. I cannot believe the circumstances behind his debut. I'm might put him left wing to keep him comfortable. We'll do that for sure. This is it. This is what we're going to use in the FA Cup semi-finals at Wembley. Arnold is going to be playing this game unreal. Sam Arnold to make his debut. Let's give it everything. You know, we've still got Ivan Tony, Lingard, Frula, and all the defenders that we've got. We still will give it everything. Yo, we are at Wembley fighting for that trophy for the first time ever. This is going to be epic. I literally can't believe Sam Arnold just got promoted promoted to the first team. He's been grading the academy, 68 overall, and now we've just thrown him into the deep end for that FA Cup final. If he ends up doing something here, it'll be iconic. First chance already, Vega. Going for nope. it, strikes it. What a save. We've started off this game strong as Arnold gets his first touch, but what a, an insane situation this is for Arnold to make his debut age 17 at Wembley. Like, it could be iconic or it could be tragic. Hopefully, it's the former. Ivan Tony has done really well there. Could look for the cutback. Frula, no. Good save, Allison. No Salah. Looking inside and Darwin Nunes, he should have had a goal there. He really should. Big Dean Henderson is carrying us right now. We don't have Elanga. We do not have Brennan Johnson, but we do have Dean Henderson who's always there in those situations. That is the pressure I'm dealing with here with Liverpool. We'll genuinely need a miracle to somehow get through it. Nope. Salah's got his chance. Henderson saves. Cleared away somehow. I can't believe we're surviving. No, no, no. Salah's offside. Please offside. Ah, he is. That's a good offside trap from us. Henderson going for a power shot. No. What? Jordan Henderson. Fair play. Liverpool take the lead and they strike first. I don't think I've missed Brennan Johnson and Ilanga like this, like, in any game this season. Because, my God... We're really missing that that speed down the wing. Sam Arnold's been okay. He's doing the right things. He's making the right passes. Keeping things simple. But that's the problem. We're not seeing that spectacular play Alanga brought. Renan Lodi looking for Wega as he puts it in. Easy. Not good. Not good enough. That's half time and we've got a lot of thinking to do. Liverpool are just toying with us right now. They know we're in the mud without our key players. Like, they know we've just got nothing in our attack. If there was ever a time for someone to pop up with a ridiculous goal and be... A Nottingham Forest hero. This is it. Frula. Looking for Ivan Tony. Still no options. We're going to just have to go backwards for Neko Williams. Looks inside for Vega. We're keeping possession well now, smartly. But is that going to be enough? Renan Lodi. Bruh. What is he doing? He ruined that attack. Do it. Donut. Bro, I haven't been this dense in a game of FIFA. We've given so much in this FA Cup and we could be throwing everything away with mistakes like that. 
Renan Lodi saves us. I see Van Tony. We're just going to go for the long ball approach. It might just work because Tony is that kind of player. And it has worked. Ivan Tony with a scrappy chance for that finish. The most insane thing I've seen in a game like this. Ivan Tony stepping up big time. We needed someone special to do something, and it was him. Bro, I'm drained playing just the FA Cup semi finals, man. This has been in. Ends. Lingard has really done well in this game, guys. I've got to give him the credit. As, oh my god, Matip took him out and that could be another injury. It's just our luck. And yup, Lingard's picked up a knock. You guys saw that firsthand. We're, we're losing steam towards the end of the season with players picking up injuries. Gibbs White's going to come on. Oh, Sam Arnold, that was nice. That's seeing a bit of talent there from the young Englishman as he keeps going. He keeps going. He keeps going. Tough angle. He might, might still go for it. No, he could have done it. That's the first time I saw him really being bold and creative. More of that. I know he's got the talent. Oh, he's on it again. Sam Arnold's on it again. And he's looking absolutely quick. Sam Arnold's looking quick. Oh, Cut back for Tony. Yeah. You can't write this. Sam Arnold on his debut for Nottingham Forest has gotten in behind and set up Ivan Tony. Oh my God. We're on the verge of knocking Liverpool out. Guys, I am making a huge tactical change. We're going to bring off Yates for Biancone. Have Chalaba play there. An extra centre-back. Aurea for Williams just for that experience. And Gibbs White has just come on. Uh, I think what I'm going to do instead is have him play left. And then put Mangala in there. We're doing everything to hold on to this lead. Sam Arnold with an incredible debut for Nottingham. But it's now time for us to secure the result. You know what? I don't even want to attack. I'm just going to move it around with my centre-backs. Keep it calm. There's enough, like, time to just move the ball around. Be patient. Like, what are we doing? We can't give the ball away. Referee, end the game. Yes, we're on our way to an FA Cup final. This was emotionally draining, but... We did it. It's going to be Preston we face in the FA Cup final, bro. I'm ready for that. The injury crisis we're dealing with in this episode is absolutely brutal. Lingard is out with a broken door for the next three months. The good news, though, is I think for the FA Cup final, we should have both Elanga and Brennan Johnson back. But what a fine young man we found to lead the line in the future for us. Like, what a debut it was. So, yes, remember the name, Sam Arnold. Honestly, guys, right now, I could care less about the Premier League, so we're just going to get through the games with nothing to play for. It's against Spurs. A two-all draw is, I think, better than what could I have achieved by playing. If Aunt Tony's been an incredible signing. This is so painful to see Renan Lodi's loan expire. Next season, if we've got the money, we'll do everything possible to get him. Okay, I'm never sending a scout to Uruguay. The players we've got, trash. Okay, at least this guy looks good from Greece. 68 to 94 potential. Promising. We'll sign him. But yeah, the rest, average. What about the scout we sent to England? These have all Always been good. He looks okay. Yeah, nah, this. Oh, oh, okay. Nice, nah, pretty average. What about Oh, Liam Alexander, 1.3 million value. Bro, we gotta send more scouts to England. That's been working well for us. We've legit got a left back and a right back sorted through the academy. Like, that is fantastic luck. Couple more Premier League games to smash through. This one is against Fulham. I'm expecting a win. Oh, we take the L. Okay, I don't expect anything from this one against Arsenal, but I'm pretty sure. Our next game is against Preston. Yes, it is. The FA Cup final. Bro, I am resting everyone. Okay. Elanga, you're being benched. We'll play you Sam Arnold in this game. Your Premier League debut, mate. Enjoy. We'll play Awani, Mangala, Kuyate can all play. We'll have Richards, Biancon, Aurea. Yeah, we're, we're resting everyone, boys, because we need to keep players fit for the FA Cup final. Right now, that's our priority. Bro, have we actually managed to beat Arsenal? What is this game even? This this is it, boys. This is it. I cannot believe in our first season with Nottingham, we've got a chance to win the FA Cup. And the fact that it's against Preston, we have a real shot at winning this trophy. First final, I'm going to give it everything. And we deserve to be here. Look at the teams we knocked out to get here. Let's do this, boys. And let's leave everything on the pitch. Elanga and Johnson are back. But I think we've got one thing to do before we can get this game underway. Ivan Tony, for all his performances, deserves that number nine jersey. I love our knee as a backup striker and a bit of a meme, but he's gonna have to make do with number 19. Let's now go out there and win the FA 
Stanley Cup. I'm gonna give it everything to win this trophy. We're still missing a very important player and that's Jesse Lingard. His three month long injury means yes he's gonna miss the FA Cup final. He helped us get here but he's not here for this final. Instead it's Gibbs White who could maybe become the hero. Let's see what he does. Here he is on set piece duty just like Jesse Lingard. If he can put in a good ball things could happen. What a header. Saved by the keeper. Chalaba looking for Brennan Johnson. Denied. A powerful effort. What a save. Bro, we need to win this final. Look at our team. It is so much better than theirs. They're a championship level club. We, we can't lose this no matter what. Yates is doing really well there. There goes the big man driving it forward. Sees Brennan Johnson as the option of the best of passes, but he's done well. Brennan just about keeps it. Looking for that cross. It's a looping ball in. Falls for Gibbs White. And what a finish against Preston. No, Jesse Lingard. A chance for Gibbs White to announce himself. And he's the man to score in the FA Cup final for us. Incredible scenes. Oh, they're on the attack now in the second half. And they need to get a goal. And this might be their only chance. Massive opportunity. Cut back Thank inside. You. They've wasted it. Trader Dean Henderson. No. I mean, I'll take it. But what a chance. Who's side are you on? Renan Lodi in what could be his final game for Nottingham Forest. Driving the ball forward. Looking for that cross. It's brilliant. Nope. The header. How's that saved by Woodman? Elanga for Ivan Tony. We could be ending this game now. Ivan Tony with the cheeky chip. This man is something else. In an FA Cup final to do that. I think the only reason we've traveled so far in the FA Cup and just grown so much as a team is Ivan Tony. He's coming as a leader, as the reliable number nine, and he produces moments like that. Outrageous. I mean, just look at the elegance of that finish with his weaker left foot do i still can't believe we're, we're gonna against all odds end up winning the fa cup it's not done yet and let's not consider it done still got a job to do no they've broken through and they could get a chance to get a goal back and preston have scored in the fa cup fair play they're back in this i don't like the score line right now we need to just Denied. get this game done how has Tony not scored that? What a save from their keeper. Oh, that's our defender looking for Renan Lodi. Tough angle. Renan Lodi in what could be his final game for Nottingham Forest has just scored and helped us win the FA Cup. They're not coming back from this. And this basically confirms we need to break the bank next season and sign Renan Lodi in a permanent deal. Like, he is just too good. Is it done? I think it is. It is done. We've just won the FA Cup with Nottingham Forest. And look at the fans celebrate. Back in the Premier League after 23 years. And now they've won a major trophy, the FA Cup. This is incredible. This genuinely feels so surreal with Nottingham Forest, even with all the challenges from almost being relegated to this. We've won them, the FA Cup, in our first season. Yo, this is actually beautiful, man. Come on. Well, funnily enough, the season is not not over though i mean we've basically avoided the drop so let's just smash through the last couple of games first one against brighton let's just get them out of the way let's get a dub as well there you go four nil also by the way it's i think time we promote our goalkeeper as well to the senior team he was complaining about being unsettled and everything so that's awesome so to wrap up the season we've got our backup keeper from the academy final premier league game of the season i might just put him into the team why not why not we'll also play arnold to try and get his overall up and yeah yeah, let's get through this game and just wrap up the Premier League season. We took it now. That's fine. We wrap up the season being 10th in the Premier League. That is mental. Top half finish secured. FA Cup secured. The journey is not over. There's going to be a season two starting soon where we'll be in the Europa League. More money to spend. It's going to be crazy. Final look at the stats before we wrap up the season. Ivan Tony was the main man. 18 goals this season. Brendan Johnson and Elanga pulled a, a lot as well this season i mean just incredible but our journey is not over yet next season we're going to take nottingham to the next level we're going to be in the europa league we're going to have more money to spend it's going to be crazy if you enjoyed the journey with nottingham i think you'll enjoy watching me fix the oldest club in fifa with youth academy players check it out